Until recently, I didn't know that you could just plug a Thunderbolt cable between two Macs and a network adapter appears on both of the Macs and you can plug in an IP address, set up file sharing, and then you can copy data between the two Macs. It's a network between them. So in theory, Thunderbolt gives you up to 40 gigabit speed, whereas I've been using 10 gigabits ethernet and I thought, well, yeah, this is gonna be much faster, isn't it? So I decided to speed test it to find out if it is. I set up two Mac Studios and plugged a Thunderbolt cable between them, assigned an IP address, turned on file sharing, and I copied some files between them. Now I had two test file sets. The first one was about 100 gigabytes made up of 100 files. And the second one is about 50 gigabytes made up of three and a half thousand files. And I'll talk about why I chose those two a bit later on. And here are the results. So over Thunderbolt, the large files took two minutes and 11 seconds to copy, while the small files took eight minutes and six seconds. If you're paying attention, you'll see that the large files get done in a substantially shorter time um, than the smaller files, even though there's nearly twice as much data in the larger files than there is in the smaller files. So then moving on, I, I disconnected the Thunderbolt cable and I plugged in an ethernet cable between the two 10 gigabit ethernet interfaces on the Macs. Same thing, I set up an IP address, I turn on file sharing, and I did the same copy of the same file sets between the machines. And again, here's the results. The large files took two minutes and seven seconds, and the small files took seven minutes and 51 seconds. So based on these results, IP over 40 gigabit, theoretically 40 gigabit Thunderbolt is actually just a little bit slower than IP over 10 gigabit ethernet. That's kind of unexpected. I had a theory that maybe Thunderbolt was somehow adding some kind of unexpected overhead. So to test that out, I connected a Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter, a 10 gigabit Thunderbolt to Ethernet adapter to each Mac, um, and then connected the cables to them. They appeared as network adapters. I signed addresses and turned file sharing on. So then the traffic would effectively be going from the Mac across Thunderbolt to Ethernet, and then back to Thunderbolt, and then to the other Mac. So it's passing through the Thunderbolt layer, and I wondered whether that would, would slow it down in some way. And then I redid the copy test with the large files and the small files, and here are the results. The large files took two minutes and 27 seconds, and the small files took seven minutes and 59 seconds. So compared to IP over Thunderbolt straight, it's slightly slower for the large files, and slightly faster for the small files, which again makes no sense at all. It's not as if Thunderbolt's somehow magically putting in a layer in there. So I'm not quite sure what the problem is, but you can rest assured that uh, IP over Ethernet, we are not using Thunderbolt adapters, just the straight built-in one that comes with Mac Studios, is faster than a direct Thunderbolt connection running IP over Thunderbolt, even though the Thunderbolt is 40 gigabits. Now the reason I got interested in this problem is because I work in the video post-production industry and one of the jobs that we have to do is that on a film set, they'll collect all the data, they'll wrangle it and put it onto hard drives and typically that will come back to our facility and we'll have to copy that onto network storage and prepare it for editing. And that copy process is usually uh, time critical. They're very keen to get the, the data off the hard drives and onto our storage and ha get the nod from us to say, yes, we've got it safely stored away multiple copies, and that way they can go and delete the original camera media on the cameras so that they've got camera cards to go and record more stuff. And if they, if we take a long time doing that, then they'll have to have multiple cards for each camera spanning several days. Whereas if we can turn the data around fast, you can run with less cards. So one of the issues that we've had is that camera media typically is one file per clip. So you might record something and it will be a five minute clip and it could be several gigabytes. Whereas a new kind of format has become one file per frame. So you'll record something for five minutes um, and it'll be 24 frames a second. So it's 24 times 60 times five. You end up with thousands of frames. And if you've only got any experience copying across a network with small files, as you've seen in the data that I've created now, small files, even though physically they might be smaller, actually take a very long time to copy across. So I've been looking for a solution that'll make that go faster to copy small files across the network. I've seen that QNAP have some products that have integrated Thunderbolt uh, adapters, so they run IP over Thunderbolt, and I was wondering whether or not that would actually be faster than, say, the 10 gigabit interfaces. It turns out from these experiments that there's no improvement to be had by switching to Thunderbolt. It claims to be 40 gigabits, but in, in reality, it's probably closer to 10 gigabits and possibly a, a little bit higher latency. 
if you've got experience transferring large numbers of small files across IP networks um, and you found a way to do it faster, certainly faster than what I found, then please tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to know. Also, if you've had a, a different experience to me setting up IP across Thunderbolt, maybe you've got better performance or, or a different result, then also, Leah, I'd be very interested in knowing about that. All right, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.